You guys know how it goes, man. You guys know how it goes. Consistency always wins. Always. You're not going to meet a person who's very consistent in their actions, who's going to not win. People who are consistent, they win. And let me tell you, a lot of people in the world are not consistent because they find it boring. It's not fun. It's not fun. <laughs> um, I find consistency fun. And you know, that's what makes a lot of us different. Some people just ain't born for it. Some people ain't born to put in the consistent effort. And it is the harder thing to do. Like, it's easy to just do what you want to do all the time. I want to do this. Eh, all stuck in your way. I want to go and do this because it's fun. Instead of being more consistent and gaining the pleasures and the satisfaction of the long-term gratification of the W's, of the wins. That, to me, is fun. There's nothing fun about having fun just every day just all to do nothing all to for nothing to show for it like <laughs> that's what i'm saying man it's the easiest shit that's not going to get you any results it's the harder things that you're going to do that's going to get you the results and uh when you're that guy or that woman and you're the consistent one People will do anything, even though that your life is harder because you're making it harder. Their lives will be much harder when it's all said and done in the end, but your life is difficult right now because you're more consistent. You do the harder things. You get up every single day and get after it regardless. People will do anything to bring you down. And I mean anything. They are haters. Your consistency is gonna destroy them in every sense of the word. That's why they hate you. Cause they know you're winning over them. Cause that's how they see it. They wanna be on the same page as bro. Most people in the world, it's like they wanna be on the same page. They wanna think they can do what you do and they can't just let you be. Like, I don't even think this way. Going around most people, like it's like, <laughs> I'm just free, this person's free. They have their career, they do what they do, I do what I do. I don't, I don't think in a sense where you're seeing what they do compared to what you do. Like just work together if anything, work together. But no. And I'm telling you, man, like, people are just dumb. I think it comes down to being stupid and, like, weak-minded. Like, I don't understand how the world has got this way. Like, I, I really don't get it. Most people is bullshit, bro. Bullshit. Like, you can't do nothing with like anyone. Nobody wants to do the right things. Nobody. Damn near nobody. A very small percentage of people and it's probably not gonna be most people where you come from. Why do you think I always prayed for a second me? I'd be 10 times further than I am right now if I had a second me. Cause there's only so much you can do by yourself. 10 times further. And then people see you doing your thing by yourself. And it's like, you still get exponentially way greater results than they get. 
and then they wish they had what you had, but they did not want to work with you when they could have worked with you. It's like, people are so stupid. You are so silly. Oh my God. And they're going to be the jealous bums that's going to try to bring you guys down. You guys know how it is. You could get yourself a nice car. You could get yourself something, something nice. They're going to like mock it. They're going to be like against it. They're not going to like it. They're going to shrug it off like it's nothing, like you're nothing. like. Uh, and you're not even like, <laughs> you're not even saying anything about it. People be bringing stuff up that you did like that they know about because they've seen it somewhere. Like people know you move, people know well, something about you and it's like you, had, you said nothing about it but they bring it up and like downplay it as if there's no significance in it. Because they want you to believe that. People don't want you to be happy, successful, confident, thriving in life because most people are not even consistent enough to do so themselves. They don't want you to be on that wave. They don't. And I'm telling you, man, these jealous haters that you guys have, jealous haters that I have, they're all against us. They're not with us. They don't want to respect us. They're just like against us. They hate that they can't <laughs> be great. Like, they also didn't want to go through the things that we went through. Like, it, it, it's... It's a tall task. You have to go through it. You have to go through it, my boy. You gotta go through some shit. And it's not gonna be easy, and most people don't want to actually do that. Most people don't want to sacrifice for years and years and years and years and years and years and years, and years on end to make life into what it's supposed to be. But that's what life is. Do you think people Felt like going to war and dying in the middle of the battlefield, getting blown up by bombs and grenades and everything else, and losing their families. Do you think they felt like doing it? No. They were terrified, but they did it anyway because it was their duty. It is your duty as well to march forward in life and do the things that you're supposed to do. Like... <laughs> This is a masculine thing, so this is better advice for all my guys out there, but like, <laughs> it's damn near a crime today to be a real masculine man. To go forward and do the things that you're supposed to do. Like, bro, you're gonna have these sissy cats that are guys out there that's gonna hate on you because you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. It's like, they, they want you to like drink with them and they want you to like, why are you working so hard, man? Like, uh, they're just sissies, bro. Like, that's what most of these guys out there in modern society are cut from. That's the cloth that most of these guys are cut from. They would rather you not be consistent in your actions and behaviors. They would rather you be very inconsistent. Do some drugs, drink. Just, just relax, man. Just do these things, man. And not be consistent. That's what they would rather from you. Why? Because they don't have it in them to do what you do. For whatever reason it might be, they might be too lazy. It might bore them. They just don't want to do it. Whatever it might be. And when you have it in you to do it, not one of those types of people is going to like you. Some of them can talk to you in person and they can pretend like they do, but they're like skeptical of you. They look at you funny. They look at you weird because they're not doing what you're doing, bro. They don't have to be doing exactly what you're doing, but it's like they're not doing what they have to be doing in their own lives. So when you're doing what you have to do in your own life, it bothers them. Like you're a mirror to them because they never look in the mirror themselves when you come around it's like damn you're the mirror you are what they should be and they know it that's why they hate on you because they know you're exactly 
a reflection of what they probably should be working towards and what they should be doing. They should be on your level, but they're not. That's where the hate comes from. Indifference. They're not the same. That's why misery loves company. The drinkers want to get around the other drinkers. The pot smokers want to get around the other pot smokers. They want to mingle with each other because they're all on the same level, doing the same things. There's nothing different about you. If that's you, there's nothing different about you. There is nothing. I, at one point in my life, was following the crowd as well. You're in school. It's pretty much what you do. And then you get out of school and you snap out of it and you start to follow your calling. I did it so fast. So fast. I changed instantly. Like, I became unrecognizable to people so freaking fast, bro. That's what people have to get better at, bro. Letting go of the past. I never had a problem doing it. Easy. I'm easily letting go of what doesn't serve me. Easy. Yeah, I spent a few years partying, experiencing all that. Would not take it back for a second. It was all fun while it lasted. Some of the better times of my life, but guess what? Not everything lasts forever. It would be a horror story if I continued that life. It would be a horror story. Enjoy life as it is. Enjoy your youth. Enjoy your adult years. Your, your early 20s is gonna, and up to mid-20s is going to be some of the hardest years of your life. And if it's not, you really, really up. It really should be because that's, that's how it should be. Because you're working hard to set up your life as a man. Because you're becoming a man. You don't keep on with the past. You don't keep doing what you were doing as a kid. You turn into a man now. I literally... No one told me this. When I turned 19, the day I turned 19. I went to the fellas place. Had some fun. Did some stuff. Get my car. Leaving to go drive back home. And I'm just driving my car. And I'm looking outside. It was a nice summer day. June 12th, beginning of summer. It was warm that day, it was, it was nice. I'm looking outside driving on my way home. Had about a 30 minute drive ahead of me. I'm 19 right now. And like my whole life flashed before my eyes. I'm just like, I'm 19 right now. I have to start living like it. I have to start moving like it. I have to get serious. Because what I'm doing is just starting to become more unacceptable and more unacceptable and more unacceptable. People don't think this way. This is very mature for a 19-year-old to think this way. Most people can't. They still keep living this stupid life. They just keep living a dumb existence, doing dumb things. They don't even think twice about it. They're just in the moment, living life. Heads in the clouds. That was not me. I knew I was turning 19. I knew I turned 19 and things had to change quick. I'm going to get on my shit. And I was even disciplined at that point. Not to the level I am today. But I was going to the gym. Uh, that's when that's when I started, like just before I turned 19, I was starting, and, and it just the day I turned 19, my whole life flashed before my eyes. The intensity just grew. I got more serious. I got more competitive with my life. There's a calling on my life. I can feel it. I know it. You, there's nothing you can do when that is what is going on inside of yourself. There's nothing you can do. If you go against it, it's going to be a horror story. You have to go with it. You have to go with what God is doing to you on the inside. With or without anybody. This is when I started to distance myself from the people I was around at this time. It just fell off so fast. It even started so fast because I was not even close to living that kind of a life. Even before that, I was right against the drugs. I was right against drinking. I was right against all that. But then something flicks, you experience it, you get in and you get out. And that's what happened with me. You wake up, something hits you from the almighty above. 
and you get very serious, you start to change so fast. Your whole identity is shifted and changing every single day. You're becoming better and better and better. The people around you is getting more intimidated. People trying to gaslight your mind. You're getting these haters. You're getting people that's jealous of you. And I'm telling you, bro, these people will do anything to bring you down during these times. Anything. So as hard as life is getting for yourself because for the first time, you're being that consistent. You're that focused. You're that driven. Everything else is going to pile on top of you as well. People's going to go against you. People's not going to look at you the same. Like, like, you just feel like everything's against you because it really is. Like, no one's like believing in you, cheering you on. Oh my God, you're doing so good. Like, you're not going to get any of that. You might get it from a couple of strangers. Like, I, I would get it every now and then for a couple of strangers. I remember one day where I really needed it. And, and this older man that was retired, very successful in his 60s, in good shape too. He came up to me, he started talking to me and he's like saying so many good things about me and, and all this stuff. And like, this is when I was going through the most, through the most hate, through the most everything, through bad experiences with past people. And it's like, man, I really needed that. Like I needed someone else to tell me what I already knew about myself. That's so important. Some people just need that one person to say that one thing, what you already know about yourself. And it's just such a good feeling because like it comes from such a genuine person as well. And like, you know, that's the truth. So everything else that's against you can go fly a kite, get out of here. Cause it's not real. People's going to try to mess with you hard, bro. They're going to try to mess with you hard. And you're just trying to make a way for yourself. You're just trying to, to, to do good with your life. And they're going to be very against you. Very much so against you. That is what every chosen folk is going to have to go through. You're going to have to experience it. And it's going to get a lot uglier before it gets prettier. But it does get prettier. But it's going to get uglier first. You're going to be like that picture. Right in the background, these wolves. Lone wolf. That's what it's going to be like and most people are not going to be with you. Most people's not going to be by your side. You'd be damn lucky to have one person. Just one. Me? I didn't really have that. Like I had myself. I had God. Everyone I've ever known was not with me. Was not. You come across a stranger here and there. They're with you, but <laughs> it's there and then it's gone as well. Like you're not around people like that all the time. So it's a tough go. And people will never understand the stuff we actually had to go through. They just won't. But your toughness, you believing in yourself, your durability, your talents, your gifts, your abilities is going to lead you through. Your consistency is going to lead you through all those storms. And it's going to get uglier before it gets prettier. It's, it, you're going to have to be a savage. But you can do it. You can absolutely do it. Forget about those past people. Forget about your, about your past friends. Become unrecognizable, man. Leave it all behind. Create your new life. It's very hard for some people to do. They don't want to leave everything behind. And it's like they don't want to grow too much because everyone's going to turn. Go to the moon and back, brother. Go to the moon and back again. F them. They're, they're literally dog shit to you. All right. They'll never be good to you. Never. They're so not with you, bro. If you only knew how against you they really were, you'd have no problem going so far forward. It's not even funny. And you wouldn't think twice. You would not think twice. Sometimes you can be around such negativity so strongly that it can actually hold you back. Become unrecognizable. Allow your damn family to start hating on you. Allow your siblings to start hating on you. Allow people you never thought would turn on you, turn on you.
allow it all to happen. Because there's a good chance it will. And if it does, that's how you know you're on the right path. It sounds crazy, but it's true. People really don't want to see you succeed. People don't want you to be the best version of yourself. Stop giving it just little bits. Give it your all. Become unrecognizable. Give life everything you got. Be consistent with that. You know your best days where you do the best work and things were just so good. Be that all the time, every day. Give it your all. Even on vacation, even on something else, make the most out of every single day. Make the most of it. Make the smartest decisions. Do what's right. And uh, not everybody's going to like that, but because you're going to like you more. When, when you do these things, bro, you're going to like you more. And when you like you more, it makes the misery around you even more miserable, which means they're going to hate you more. And that means you have to get away from the miserable folks out there. And that's why this is a lonely path. Because you're going to the top. And you've got to be perfectly okay with this. You're going to the moon and back. That's where you're going. These people ain't even with you anyways. This is your calling, brother. This is your calling. This is a wake-up call to you. The people who you think is with you, they're not with you, brother. <laughs> I'm telling you. They're not. They ain't. They're absolutely not. If you only knew how, if you only knew to, to the level that I know this, you would have no problem going forward like a man possessed. You were all you got. It's going to be like that for a long, long time. There's a lot of people you got to leave behind. That's the way it has to be. It's not that it, we just want, like, look at the way people are, bro. It has to be that way. In fact, I try to take so many people up with me. There's only so much you can do. There's only so much you can do. You can't force others to self-improve. You can't force others to, to wake up to see what they need to do. You can't, you can't force people to actually do those things. You can tell them about it. You can convince them, trying to convince them, man, like, why are you not doing this? Like, come on, come on, come on. And uh, you try to edge people on it, do what you're doing and rise to greatness. But you can't force them to do it. Unfortunately, most of them are going to fall. And you're going to rise. And that's the way it has to be. And these jealous folks, they'll do anything to bring you down in the process, which makes your, your life even harder. They put the little bit of energy they have in and trying to bring you down. That's how stupid they are. Because they don't even have enough energy to do what they have to do for their own lives. They find it easier to just pick at you, pick at you, pick at you. But they're picking at the wrong damn person. They're barking up the wrong tree. Because regardless of how many crabs in the bucket trying to haul you down, <laughs> you're getting out of that damn bucket and you will be free. And with that being said, God willing, God bless. I'll see y'all at the top.